Good day everyone, welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated with my latest videos. Today we are going to discuss about the concept of proportion. Talking about proportion, we are going to define first. It is a statement of equality between two ratios that means to say equality that the word equal <clears throat> each part of proportion is a term the first and the last terms are called extremes whereas the second and the third terms are called means this means guys that we need to understand the definitions of proportions so that we can solve the following problems about how to solve this kind of concept of proportion. I have a problem about Mrs. Reyes both nine different kinds of pastries for 324 pesos at the same price. How much will she pay for 15 different kinds of pastries? So to solve this problem, I'm going to give you an equal ratio. So the problem is, let n be the price of 15 different kinds of pastries. Chair, how to solve that? Okay, please follow my videos. Here we go. So I'm going to take note first here the 9, number 9 which has 9, means to see the different kinds of pastries. 9 over, so we have first here fractional part, 324, which is the price. So we're going to write 324. Actually, guys, this is what I call a short method or a very good techniques on how to solve proportion. Then we're going to write equal sign. The next is 15 different kinds of pastries. I'm going to write here, guys. 15, please follow. Over, since N is what we call the price of 15 different kinds of pastries. So we're going to write N, then a number. So we're going to solve it. The next step, guys, so that you are not confusing how to solve proportions. The secret is you are going to apply the cross products or find the cross products for in multiplying first I'm going to do like this 9 times n so I'm going to use a dot the dot is a symbol for multiplication like this guys yeah 9 times n okay next I put an equal sign then next we're going to cross it is 324 to 15. I'm going to write 324 times 15. Now we are going to multiply. The second is you're going to multiply 9 times n. So we're going to write it 9n. 324 times 15. I will give to show you how to multiply this. 324 times 15. 4 times 5 guys is 20, so we will go 2, 2 times 5 is 10, we're, we're going to count to regroup 2, that's 12, bring down 2, regroup 1, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Next guys, 1, multiply to 4, we're going to write here, 4, 2, and 3, bring down, we're going to plus, 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now guys, this will be our answer, 4,860. <coughs> Actually, this, this will be our, this is not the final answer. So first here, we are going to write the denominator, which is 9. Okay, yeah. then we are going to divide it. 9 so we will divide that we have going to write here our continuation so we have n then we're going to divide 
4860 divide 9. I'm going to show you how to divide it. 4860 divide. So we have the divisor 9. Okay. You're going to multiply first here. 48 divide 9. So we're going to write here 5 times 9 is 45. 8 minus 5 is 3. So automatic, that's 0. Next, we bring down 6. So we are going to next to divide 36, guys. Okay. 36 divide to 9. It's very simple. 4. Then you are going to multiply. Write 36. Since this is automatic 0, so we are going to bring it down 0. So I'm going to put here, that's 540. So our end, guys, is 540. This will be our answer for the first what we call problem about Mrs. Reyes. The question is, how much will she pay for 15 different kinds of pastries? She pays about the amount of 540 pesos for different kinds of pastries. Okay. Next, we're going to proceed to our next trail. I'm going to give you an exciting what you call problem and pro different solutions and how to solve it. We have here A, <clears throat> okay, and B. Okay, we have first A and B. In A, we have 6 over 14 or 3 over 7. We can write also, guys, as a ratio form. You know, 6 is to 14, 3 is to 7. We can do like that also. But here, we're going to continue on how to write the equal proportions. So, same, guys. So please follow. Cross product multiplication. Like that. So, next, we're going to write first here. We're going to write 6 times 7, guys. Yeah. Dot lang po, ha? Okay, 6 times 7. Then, we're going to next 14 times 3. So, I'm going to write here 14 times 3, like that. Okay, now, we're going to multiply 6 times 7 and 14 times 3. So, remember, 6 times 7 is 42. 14 times 3, guys, I'm going to show you if it is equal proportion, if the ratios are proportion. So, 4 times 3, guys, 12. We group 1. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. That's very exactly proportion, guys. 42. That means to say 42 is equal 42. So I'm going to put a check sign that the... Please follow viewers or student. The ratios form in letter E, guys, are proportion. Okay? This is a very good example. Proportion, that means to say it states about equal between the two ratios, which is 6, 14, and 3 is to 7. We can write also, guys, like that. 6 is to 14. Next, 3 is to 7. You can do like also. Like that. But here in our example is what we call fractional form. So, short cat method, you are going to cross product multiply po to get the right proportion. Now we are going to proceed in letter B. We have 6, 11 and 9, 16 or 6 is to 11 is equal to 9 is to 16. So we are going to find out if this is still a proportion. Let's continue. Cross product guys. Please follow. I'm going to put a dot. 6 times 16 is equal to 11. You are going to write first here guys. Okay, for the second ano. I will First denominator of fraction 11 times 9. Just like that, guys. We put an equal sign. But later on, if we found out that if this is not an equal sign, we're going to put a symbol. That means to say that our answer is not an equal sign. Okay? Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to multiply. 16 times 6. 6 times 6, guys, is 36. So we're going to bring down 6. Then we grow 3. Then 1 times 6 is 6. Then we're going to plus the regroup number. 96. So I'm going to write here 9 
this six four. Okay, next eleven times nine, guys. One. So obviously, guys, the answer is ninety nine. So it shows that in our answer here, ninety nine is equal to ninety nine. This is not an equal. So I'm going to put you a symbol like this. Not an equal. <clears throat> 96 is not an equal to 99. Remember, guys, 96 is less than to 99. So we're going to write here the ratio do not form. It's simple, guys. A uh, proportion. Just like that. We're going to put an exact level for it for our solution. Is it clear? Hope you can follow, guys. So we're going to next our evaluation process okay let's see first if we are what you called a uh, reading now okay i have a preparation here guys that's a very exciting in math remember determine whether it is a proportion that means to so see we are going to determine it whether this given problem is a proportion or not so simply we're going to write yes or no <clears throat> sorry guys i still have a, a what we call a little cough Sorry for that, but I'm still... Okay. Okay. Next viewers, we're going to answer 2, 3rd, and 4, 6. Okay? So by now, guys, I will show you how to answer it. By simple cross multiplying again. So 2 times 6, guys, I'm going to write here. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4, guys, is 12. Wow, this is perfect. This is equal. So we're going to write, guys, yes. Okay, that's simple. Hope this will be what we call a very good, a good wages rather, that will help you in doing your assignment. Next, 4 times 9 and 8 times 4. But remember, guys, you have to, what we call, uh, continue doing your, what you call, assignment or continue doing your, so for example, if you're not, what we call, uh, can't memorize what we call the, the multiplication table so please continue to do that so that you can answer it immediately and think it properly 4 times 9 is 36 guys 5 times 8 is 40 so that's acer right so that means to so see this is not an equal okay so this is what you call no this is not a proportion that means to so see guys hindi po sila pareho ang sagot say not same answer next 3, 7, and 4, 9. So we have first here, cross guys. 3 times 9 is 27. 7 times 4 is 20. That's very easy, guys, if you know how to multiply it because it's easy for you to identify whether your answer is not correct. So first, 27 is not equal to 20. That means to so say, guys, a big no. Let's follow so that you will know how to, how to solve it. In determining whether it's is a, whether each is a proportion rather or not 12 times 5 guys so we're going to show you how to multiply it step by step 10 5 that's 60 guys 15 times 4 we're going to multiply of course it's 20 guys 4 plus 5 is 60 that is equal so check yes Next, 2 times 10 and 6 times 4, guys. This is 20. 6 times 4 is 24. It's not an equal. So, we're going to write no. Next, 8 and 6 and 10 and 4. It's 40. 6 and 8 is 48. Like that. Okay, so 48 and 40, it's not an equal. Hope you follow, guys. So, our answer is still no. Okay? That's very interesting, guys in our what you call concept of proportion from the word proportion that means to say guys it should be we're going to show you how to solve each what we call proportion whether it is equal or not equal next continuation guys we're going to continue for seven eight nine and ten so same procedure guys you multiply that cross product, I will show you. 28 times 6. This is manual method, guys. I want you to show you how to multiply it using manual method. This is a very good way 
through what we called a sharpening the skills of the students with regards in multiplication skills. 8 times 6 is 48. We bring down guys 8. Then we group 6. 2 times 6 is 12. So you are going to add 6. So 12. You are going to write here. 8 10, the last what we call multiplication to 2 times 6. So we're going to write here 188. Then guys, next is 7 and 24. 24 times 7, same procedure guys. 4 times 7 is 28. Bring down 2. I carry 2 rather. Okay, Nico, don't disturb me. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 2 is 16. 168 guys. So still our answer is not a proportion. So we're going to write here a big no. 8, 2 times 12 and 4 times 5 is 20, 2 times 12 is 24, still our answer is not <clears throat> what we call an equal proportion, so we're going to write no. Next, 5 times 6, or 15 times 6 rather, and 20 times 5, we're going to solve it, 15 times 6, 6 times 5, 30 times 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to write here 90, guys. So 20 times 5, 0 times 5, 10. So we're going to write here 100. So still our answer is no. It's not an equal. Next, 28 and 3 and 42 and 2. So we're going to multiply here, manual method. We have 84 here. So 28 and 3, it's 4, then 2, 84. So the number 10 guy, 84, is equal to 84. This is what we call the yes. Okay? Hope you understand about our lesson about the concept of proportion. Thank you for watching, guys. And please watch for our next videos about evaluation of different kinds of proportion once again thank you and go day and god bless everyone don't forget to subscribe again to rams tutorial educational channel bye bye